Hey there guys, it's Mr. Q, your friendly neighborhood guitar, and I'm at Hammond International Airport. I just wanted to show it to you, and I'm just gonna show you a couple of glimpses. It's not gonna be a really long vlog. I'm not sure I can film, you know, too much, but I will be filming uh, much more um, very soon. But check this out. New state-of-the-art airport. Oh yeah. And so we've got a giant screen on the right. Yes, FC Barcelona, because it's the way we roll. And this is the giant bear that a lot of people are familiar with. I'll take a look at that. And I don't know about you guys, but I've always wondered, like, what is this helmet thing on the head? Because everybody sees, like, this half-shaped helmet. And so let me give you, a, you know, an angle. It's actually like a, 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 like a lamp, or half a lamp. It's got a light bulb. And uh, a lot of some people have been asking, is it fluffy? No, it's not fluffy. Apparently it's made of copper. So that's pretty cool. So I'm just saying here. And the problem is that there are people <laughs> disturbing my vlog. Okay, what Dude, are you doing, man? Why are you dressed like a civilian in your own state? Oh my, oh! So apparently this guy is saying that Qataris can't wear anything other than thobes. That's what you're if, saying. If I could wear a thobe, I'd wear a thobe because it's the best outfit in the you, world. You, you can, can wear it to a you, funeral. You can wear a You can wear it to a job interview. You can wear it to a wedding. Well, but who said you, you can't can wear, wear a thobe? Dude, if I wore a thobe, I'd get arrested. Says who? Says me okay. because I would let be told me, that no, I should no, be wearing no, no. one. Let me bust some myths right now. So this is wrong. Anybody can wear a thobe, and in fact, if you did wear a thobe, a lot of Qataris would be really happy because it means you're embracing that you're embracing our culture. Dress. Exactly. So I have a thobe. Don't. Yeah. So wear it. It is. It's kind of like a Q-tip happening right now. Sorry. Was it wasn't supposed? Yeah. It is. Uh, it is on YouTube. Are you serious? Yeah. Am I gonna be on YouTube? You're gonna be on YouTube. <laughs> And kissing is fine in our culture as well. But anyway, there's the bear. <laughs> so there you guys go. That's evidence that everything that happens is actually quite live and impromptu. So um, right over here, you can see we've got the uh, oh, you know, a small section of the duty free. And recycling. Oh man, can I just talk about this for a second? Please recycle. You can recycle bottles and cans and paper and food. Just in case uh, you just randomly forget a portion of the alphabet. CDE. Friendly reminders of the alphabet. Brought to you by Hammond International Airport. So if you ever felt like having some uh, caviar, some seafood before traveling, there you go, you can do that on the, at the airport. And on the right hand side you've got the bumble tree. With that, oh, that's a pretty large tree made out of Lego right over there. Cool. And if you wanted like skateboard, you can do that too. And just because every airport needed one, we have a cave. With a dinosaur. Just saying. So here's the interesting thing, so you've got a W.H. Smith, you've got a Camden Food Co, you've got a Red Mango. You have restaurants here that we don't even have outside of the airport anywhere else. Um, however, having mentioned that, I've applied to the, the airport so that I can open my own little fast food place. Dear airport, can you please give young Qataris a chance and... Uh, I'm gonna be serious right now. I really hope that this isn't gonna be one of those only VIPs with extra wasps that can actually get into here. So I'm, I'm gonna be documenting my journey to let you all know if I managed to actually get a spot in the airport because I don't know. Let's see if there is truly equality. And over here you've got some shopping. So you've got some diesel. You've got some junk. I've never heard of Junction. Is Junction cool? It looks cool. Um, some Hugo Boss. Sparkly silver balls hanging from the ceiling. That's the future right there. And we've got what? Another W. H. Smith. Way to go, variety. Wait a minute. Is this a third W. H. Smith? Rolex, Tiffany, Burberry, all the major brands. Because you never know when you want to buy a Burberry coat on the way to Bahrain. Here's the seating area. I'm going over to Gate B2. And just in case you were confused, you know, just want, they want to make sure that you know what you're looking at. You're, you're looking at a television, by the way. Yeah, that's, I swear to God, that's a television. Man, this airport is beautiful. It's gonna give people such a great impression of, of Qatar. I mean, I just can't wait until it's like fully functional and operational and... I mean, I'm sure it's fully operational right now, but I mean, once they expand it to, to the maximum capacity, it's gonna be amazing. So many people are gonna be coming and flying all over the place. So in case you wanna use the, uh, the internet, you've got um, some iMacs, you've got some keyboards, you've got some free stuff, you've got a, a floating table on light. Nice, it's like my own little... Apple Genius bar going on. So the wheelchairs have been naughty. So they've been put behind the wall, you know. Shame on you. Look at the wall. Don't move. Don't move. Don't move. Yeah. I just wanted to mention this. So I went to um, gate B2 and uh, it said Kuwait instead of Bahrain. So 
we asked the lady, or she was myself and some stranger had said, "Hey, where's the where's the gate?" And she was like, "Check the screens." And we're like, but you, "Don't you know where the gate is? It was supposed to be B2." And she's like, "Check the screens." So, um, Qatar Airways, I think you need to sort your um, customer service out a little bit. You know, I really want to love you guys. Oh, what another W8 Smith? <laughs> so I've made it to gate B10. Nice, uh, finally found it. And guys, you know, I don't mean to sound you know pessimistic because in fact I came here wanting to show off the amazingness of the airport. Just that you know a couple of things do annoy me, and uh, things have to have to change, you know, to get better. Don't forget to thumbs up, subscribe, and let me know what you think. Do you agree with my comments? And what do you think of the airport? And what do you think about the bear? You want to hug that bear? You want to hug it? Hug it. Hug it right now.